Learn how to network with some of the biggest names in this industry with these tips. Building relationships, working with people that have a similar passion and drive as you, meeting individuals that are experts in the industry can change your career overnight. Many of the most successful artists in the world are at the point they're at today because they were networking with the right people. Big Sean made sure that he reached out to Kanye and rapped for him. J. Cole booked a meeting with Jay-Z. And Tracy Chapman befriended someone at school because he was the son of a recording executive for Warner Music's Electra Records. All of these people are at the point they're at today because they were networking with the right people. They met the right people and their music got heard. Who you know, who you're working with, who helps you along your journey can be the make or break. So in this video, I'm going to teach you some networking tips. I'm going to teach you how to be networking with those like-minded musicians to get those collaborations to benefit from each other. But I'm also going to teach you how to meet those industry professionals, those experts, which mean you can get into the major labels. You can get those major support slots. You're working with the best names in the industry. So stay tuned to the end where I talk about that. I'm actually filming this video because I received countless DMs on Instagram from artists saying that they can't find like-minded musicians. The people that you surround yourself with are essential. They're going to impact your career massively. Because if you're around people that are lazy, don't really care, don't care about the music, you're gonna get into those habits. But if you're surrounded by artists that love music, they're working daily, you're gonna bounce ideas off each other, you're going to develop at a faster pace. The best way to find these people and to make sure you're working with these like-minded musicians is through social media. The three best platforms to be networking with these musicians is through Instagram, Reddit, and Facebook. Instagram has profiles that are specifically designed for artists. For example, ours. Our profile is educating artists. So obviously all the comments, all the followers are from artists. So you should start finding pages like this and jump straight into the DMs. Start engaging with the people that follow that account. Start jumping into the comments, starting a conversation. If someone asks a question in the comments and you know the answer, make sure to reply to it. And then you can jump into their DMs, start that conversation, be building relationships. Because these people that are following those accounts obviously have the aim to succeed. They have the drive. They, they wanna be educators, so of course they wanna succeed in this industry. And those are the kind of people that you need to surround yourself with. The key thing to know is that you're giving. If you're constantly commenting in these sort of things, saying, listen to my latest track, DM me if you wanna work together, it's just taking and no one cares. There are takers all over social media. We receive DMs daily from people telling us to share their latest video on our story, to listen to their latest track. And to be honest, why would you do that? Why would anyone do that when you don't know the person? You need to create personal relationships if you want to benefit from them. And the best way to benefit from someone else is to benefit them. So give, give your knowledge or perhaps you have a skill that you can give to them. Hashtags are a fantastic tool for networking because you can search for things that are fitting for you. You could search via genre, you could search by general music industry terms, or you could search by region. We'd suggest using a website such as Display Purposes. And what you do is you type in your keywords and then suggest hashtags that have the most engagement. So if you were searching just general music industry terms, you could type in hashtag music industry. If you were looking more regionally in your area, you could type in hashtag UK music. And if you were looking for people that have the same passion and drive as you, you could search something like hashtag record label. Once you start searching these hashtags, you'll find people that are using them and engaging with that kind of audience. And you can check out their profile and see if there's someone that you want to network with. Before doing anything else, you need to look at their profile. The message you send needs to be personal because if you're copy and pasting messages to every single musician you want to network with, it will be so obvious. And that's not a personal relationship. So look through their profile. You, could, you can mention what they recently posted. You can mention your favorite piece of content they've done. You could even reply to a story, something that starts a conversation and isn't just immediately taking. If this person is someone you really, really want to be in your immediate circle, you wanna work with them, you wanna develop with them, then give as much as you possibly can. Offer free studio time, offer your vocals, offer free content if you're a graphic designer, whatever skills you have, offer it to them because then that relationship is suddenly so much stronger and they're gonna show you the attention you deserve. This industry is full of takers. There are people that are just expecting things to be given to them and it doesn't work like that. If you're giving, you'll be given stuff in return. Another great platform to find like-minded musicians is Facebook. The reason for this is because Facebook groups are being a massive focus for Facebook at the moment. Just a month ago, Facebook announced they were gonna be doing some massive changes to groups. They're going to start showing group engagement on the feed. They're going to give you suggested groups to join related to your interests. And they're also introducing a meet new friends feature, which is perfect for musicians that are wanting to network. Start by searching your local area. So if you're from New York, you could search New York artists, New York musicians, and join all the groups you can. Then you can start 
looking more genre specific. So if you're an EDM artist, you could search EDM musician, EDM producer. As soon as you're in these groups, you again need to be giving. There's no point jumping straight into the groups and posting your latest track, asking people to collab because they don't know who you are, they don't care. Start engaging in the comments, start posting things to start a conversation, and you'll soon be part of the community. If you're joining communities that one day you want to be leading, then you're halfway there, you're already near the top. But if you're just taking from these people, you're not involved in the conversation, then you're not even in the community, let alone leading it. And finally, we've got Reddit. Reddit is a fantastic platform for artists because there are so many different subreddits. Subreddits are pretty similar to Facebook groups whereby people join it because they're all interested in that one thing. So there are subreddits specifically for musicians such as We Are The Music Makers. There are subreddits specific to genre such as hip hop heads. And there's also subreddits specific to certain things in the industry such as Spotify and Apple Music. So it's really important you start getting involved because you're not only just joining a community, but you'll be learning a lot from these people. Post on these subreddits, jump into the comments, and once you start finding people that are similar to you and you think would benefit you, you can message them. The thing with Reddit is people's usernames aren't usually their real names, so if you really wanna communicate with these people, you can speak on Reddit messages, but then you should probably take it off and speak either on Instagram, Facebook, or you might potentially meet these people. Now what you've all been waiting for, how to meet these industry professionals, how to meet these experts that are going to help your career massively. And the best way to meet these people and be engaging with them is through networking events. These people can lead to you getting a, a massive support slot or even getting signed to a major label. So meeting these people is very important, but you need to do it right. You might only have one shot of doing this because if you meet someone and you mess it up, you don't get a second shot. Networking events are extremely scary. Yes, they can be awkward, but for an hour or two of awkwardness could lead to your life changing overnight. That scary 10 minute conversation you have with a label executive could lead to you getting signed. So I think the awkwardness is worth it. Firstly, you need to be getting into those music industry networking events. And you can do this by a simple Google search. It might show you an event page like Eventbrite, which lists loads of different networking events. Or it might show you upcoming ones from industry professionals such as Ditto and AWOL. There are a lot of companies that are running network events and they sometimes do them monthly, yearly. So you can start going to as many as you possibly can. Once you've found the networking event you wanna to go to, head straight over to Facebook and see if there's an event page. The reason this is so important is because you need to see who's there. You need to make sure that you're meeting the correct people. So find the event page and then look at the people that are saying they're attending or are interested in the event. From here, you need to search these people on social media or LinkedIn. This may take you quite a while if there are 100 people going, but it's definitely worth it because then you can pick your top 10. Pick the 10 people that are your dream people to speak to in that room and research them like crazy. Research their job, where they've been in the past, how they've got to the point they're at, who they're currently working with. Because once you have that, you're prepared. You want to start a conversation with them and be able to know what you're talking about. So research these people like crazy, and then once you're in that room, target those people. The most important thing to remember when you're going to a networking event is to obviously be yourself, but also not to be too pushy. These people have artists constantly coming up to them, constantly trying to sell their music, and you need to stand out. You need to be a conversation they're not going to forget. And the best way to do this is to know stuff about them, know stuff about what they do, but also say something about yourself that they're going to remember. And this doesn't even have to be about the music. It could be something really unique. You could discuss what you're doing in the future, what you're doing with your content, what you've done in the past that's a little bit different to most musicians. Because once you've had that conversation, once they've remembered you, they're gonna be happy to take any call. They're gonna be happy to answer your emails. And if the conversation went really well, they might give you their email address, they might give you their socials, their number, and the next day you need to follow up immediately, saying it was great to meet you, potentially invite them to a gig, potentially send them your new track, anything that keeps them updated. But if they didn't give you a number or an email address, that's when you need to search them on LinkedIn and try to connect and message them. And from here, you can try and to engage with them as much as you can without being pushy. You can message them once a month, once every other month, filling them in on what you're doing. And then if you follow them on socials, they might follow you back and then they're constantly updated with what you're doing. If they're constantly seeing you on their socials, you're, you're popping up on LinkedIn occasionally. You're gonna be on the back of their mind. They're gonna go to their next meeting and think, that artist could be fitting for that. And that might not happen in a month, it might not happen in a week, it might take a year or two, but you're always gonna be on their mind. You've got that connection, you've got that relationship. And even if you're not gonna benefit from them directly, they might introduce you to someone else. The opportunities are endless if you're networking correctly. Once you're on the radar of just a handful of influential music professionals, you'll find that you're just being introduced to more people, you're being brought up in more conversations, and that's when you're going to develop at a really fast rate. So networking can change your life. Meeting those like-minded musicians, meeting those industry professionals that can change everything for you, can mean your career grows faster than ever. At the end of the day, 
day, networking is quite scary. Meeting new people, it's, it's awkward. It's not something that many people are confident in doing, but once you've done it, once you've done it once, twice, got it into your nature, it's a lot easier to do. But no matter what, make sure you're being true to yourself, you're not faking it, because you wanna meet people and be you, rather than having to fake your whole music industry career. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any questions about networking, feel free to comment and we'll answer them all. And if you haven't joined the community yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we upload. And we'll be back soon with more music marketing advice.